Hi everyone, here's another way to make a zine. Um, so I'm going to take any old paper size that you like. In this case, I've taken sheets of 8.5 by 11 paper and I've cut them in half, so now they're 8.5 by 5.5, half of 11. So this was the 8.5 by 11 sheet, I just cut them in half. So I'm going to take, and you could use whatever size paper you want. You could use sheets of 8.5 by 11 not cut in half, you could use the whole sheet etc. So whatever size you've got, and I'm just going to fold each one of these in half. Uh, we're making what's called a pamphlet, and actually all the books you have, the hardbound books, um, they are a bunch of pamphlets sewn together with a needle and a thread. If it's not an artist book, then it was probably not done by hand, it's a machine, but it's still a needle and a thread sewing a bunch of what we're doing right now, a bunch of pamphlets together to make all the hardbound books that you have or that you've used in classes or novels you've enjoyed, etc. So I'm taking a bunch of sheets and folding them in half, like so. And then I'll grab my bone folder or my quarter or my spoon or whatever and just make each of those creases a little bit sharper. And then so I don't get confused, I'm going to take one of these that's going to not be in the finished piece and I'm just going to call it uh, my guide. So I'll just write guide on it. And if there's anything specific about what I'm doing, I could put info if I was going to keep this for future reference. So I'm going to fold this in half, uh, not all the way, I'm just going to make like a tick mark. And then I'm going to fold it in half again and make two more tick marks. Actually, I could do this part later, but well, actually, I guess I can't. Okay. Um, so now I have three little tick marks on my guide. And then you can grab any sort of, so in the book binding supply section, you find little fancy things like this or if you have, you know, some biology tools around from your bio lab, you might have one of these little, these little needles, any kind of, you know, anything, ice pick, whatever you've got, um, and, you know, some kind of thing that you can, uh, you know, that you're not going to like put holes in a table or something. And so those three marks that I made are going to be spots that I'm going to punch. And now that I've got my guide with my three holes, I'm going to take each of the sheets that I just folded and use the guide to put holes in them. I should probably remember which way is up. Top. Good. So I don't get things upside down. So I put holes in one sheet, holes in two sheets. So your pamphlet could be as large or small as you like, the number of sheets is up to you, but I think I'll use four sheets which will give me 16 pages. Okay, so I'm done with my guide. I could save it if I'm going to make another book in the future, another pamphlet in the future. And now I can gather all of these pages. And so now here's my 16-page pamphlet with holes punched in it. Um, so then I need a needle of some kind. 
and thread of some kind. So you can get book binding thread or if there's any thre sewing thread around the house or, or old shoelaces or somebody made a, um, a Studio 54, the I guess it was 60s era disco in New York pamphlet and so they sewed it together with a pair of old earbuds. Um, but I'll use this stuff. I've just got a spool of thread here inside an old pickle jar, I think, or a relish jar um, with a hole in the top so I can just conveniently pull out thread when I need some. Cut that. See if I can thread this needle. And then once you've got the thread through the needle, if you uh, unwrap a bit and, and stab your needle through the middle of the thread, I don't know, you probably can't really see that in the video, but I've poked the needle through the, a piece of the thread tail. Poke the needle through a piece of the thread tail. Uh, this is not critical, you don't have to do this step, but it's just a little helpful thing. I poke it through and then pull it through. Uh, um, and that kind of just locks the thread, which is helpful. Okay, so I've got some pages with three holes and I'm going to start in the middle, start in the middle, and I'm gonna go through the middle hole. So I'm gonna go through the middle hole of my pages here. And I'll just keep a little piece in the center And then I'll come in one of the other holes, come back inside. And now I will go back out the center hole again. And then I'll come back in the other hole. Great. And then I will tie a little knot in the center. Cut the ends off. And now I have a pamphlet of, in this case, 16 pages or however many pages you want. So it's got a front, a back, and pages inside that you can turn. And so now get your pencils, colored pencils, markers, paints, pastels, whatever you like, and make your zine. Good luck.